home of the stars, through the airwaves and on the big screen. Coming to you live from Hollywood, it's Rated G Radio with your host, Garrett Miller. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Rated G Radio. I'm thrilled that you are here. I have on the show today two of my favorite people of all time, Brian and Sean Corsagas. They're going to be t- coming on the line in just a second to talk about a really cool event they have coming up on the 15th. They're going to talk about the eight pioneers from Christian music at the Buckeye Local High School. Tickets are only $10 and all of that cool stuff. We're going to talk about that in depth. But before we bring them on, I want to give a big shout out to the people who are going to be on the show for the rest of the week. So if you know you're marking your calendars for what's going on and didn't watch my video on Facebook on Sunday afternoon, here's what's coming up. Tomorrow on Tuesday's show, we have Peter Jude Ricciardi. He's a voiceover actor, and he's actually reciting... I don't know if you call it reciting, but you call it uh, doing a voiceover for a book that Kathy Porter has written, and Kathy's been a guest on our show. It's a science fiction novel called Earth's Ultimate Conflict. It's about aliens, and it's actually kind of a fun book to read. It's taken me over a year to read it, but it's sitting on my nightstand, and whenever I sit down and want to read something, I, I turn to that. But Peter's coming on to talk about doing the voiceover for that book, you know, for like an audio book. Wednesday, we have a great humanitarian coming on to the show, Mr. Sean Hill. He's a young gentleman out of Southern California that is doing a lot of work to help raise awareness and money for schools around the world. He's actually raising money for a school that he's looking to construct in Nepal, and he'll be back on the show on Wednesday. Thursday, we have filmmaker Robert Hensley, and then Friday, live from the UK, we have an artist by the name of MDXP. I'm going to have to ask him what that means, because his name is Danny. I call him Danny. I've been playing his music on my iPhone and on the computer in between shows. Really lovely voice, and he's got this you know, really good look, um, but I'm not sure where the MDXP comes from. But that's going to be a live show at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Friday. Why is it 9 a.m. for a Friday night dance party? Because it's 5 p.m. in the U.K., and when I have artists that are calling in from around the world, I want to make sure I get them before it's like sleepy time. So that's why we're doing the show early. But there's nothing sleepy about Brian or Sean Krasagas who are joining us from Ohio tonight. Boys, how are you? We're doing great. This is Brian. Sean's coming. Um, we have we were um, working on a project, and what happened was um, we're we're in a building that we're not familiar with. So one of us are going to be on the cell phone, if that's okay with you, and the that's other one with is me. on the telephone. So yeah, what well, we did was once um, I get you both, I don't care. My my whole goal is just to get both of you here because you guys are so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're thrilled to be here. Every time we are on with you, we always have the biggest laugh oh of our lives. Gosh. We have to meet sometimes. I know. Well, you know, we were texting earlier today, and, I, and I've and i told the – if everybody is listening, I got rid of my cell phone about two years ago for a variety of reasons. And everybody says, how do you live without a cell phone? I have a, a – office line that I do business on, and if I'm bleeding out my eyeballs and really have to do something, I have a free texting app on my iPad, but I hate texting on that because it's just it's just very painful, um, and Brian and Sean were texting me today on my iPad, and, and they're like, I hope we're going to meet one day, and I'm like, yes, we're going to meet one day, and they're like, you know, please, let's you know, we'll chat on Facebook, because I can at least have a keyboard there, I can do that, so, you guys are just, but you have my on, would you have us out there? So, pardon? You have us both on now. We're both oh, here now. So. Okay, Brian and Sean Grisaga. Well, the dynamic duo is back. So, boys, <laughs> what's been going on since? I mean, you and I, you know, we all stay in touch, you know, on, on Facebook and social media in between appearances. But what have you guys been up to since the last time that we've talked? Well, um, I'm not sure if you know we did a Christmas CD. We got a Christmas CD done, and now we are um, – working on a TV interview show. We're going to be hosts of a TV show. So we're going to be working with, um, I don't know if you know Angela Prim, but she's um, from the Bill Gaither. Um, I know the name. Show. Wow. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful a black woman who that has the most amazing, amazing voice, a really big-time singer and uh, just a, a performer and a half. She's so funny. Well, when so when are you going to start your TV show, and how do I get on it? Do I have to call like a booking agent? Do we have to call in yeah. theaters? <laughs> no, you know what? We'll get you on for sure. You'll have to get on. We we just were on some um, Christian network in Canton, and while we were out there, they called us and they wanted us to come back on because they love having us. But what they wanted to 
do, we were talking to them about us hosting our own show, and they said, absolutely. So we, we have wanted to do something like this for a long time, so now the opportunity is open. So I think probably we're going to start working on our, our set as soon as this um, Legends concert that we're this weekend, and then when we get that going, then we'll be able to start filming our, our variety show, or what the talk show. Didn't I tell you guys like uh, a million years ago, I said, you know, one of these days, you know, you're going to find just the right outlet and it's going to just like stumble into your laps and you guys are then going to be like the next Donnie and Marie of, of Christian music. So I am so thrilled <laughs> that this is happening for you, you know, while you're still well, young okay. we, we thought yeah. we were going to do that reality show. Remember that reality show? It, it's up online, but nobody ever did anything with it. We thought it was a, a winner for sure. It well seriously that it well we've talked about this at length too and so for anybody who's coming into the conversation and we kind of reminisce a little bit that's one of the things that we do when Brian and Sean come on is we kind of catch up a little bit I will tell you that reality show is a hit it just wasn't the right fit for whoever you were talking to but you know out of all the reality TV things that are out there that is a winner my friends it is it's funny uh, there's a good story to it and it has a good message so you know if anybody that from Bravo fun. or A and E or Lifetime or anybody like that is listening, I highly recommend that you guys pick it up because it's it's ratings gold is what it is, you know, and you can oh, have a fun show that teaches a lot of lessons. You get a little music, you get a little entertainment, but at the same time, you're also getting a nice message without being hit over the head with it. Yes, you're right. And, um, you know, what's funny is um, the, the people that worked with us, Jane Farrell, well, has become a runaway character anyway. She's a legend in Christian music. She's coming in with her husband for this thing that we're doing. But um, we had a woman's conference, and it's strange. She's uh, she's in her 60s, and what's funny about her is that all the young girls that came to the women's conference, we had Angela, we had Stephanie Busada, we had all these other women there. But, oh, my gosh, they were all drawn to um, Jane, because Jane is just a character. I mean, she's, she would have been a runaway character for that show because she just speaks what she feels at any time, and she's just funny. Even her, just looking at her, she um, gives these looks that are just amazing, and she's an actress at, at its best. I mean, but she's sincere, she's true, and she's like a mother to us, but we, we love being around her, but she sometimes gives these looks that just people know what she's thinking before she even says mm-hmm. anything. Um, I, I, I think they need to watch that. Well, so we need to go have uh, maybe we'll, we'll do like an online viewing party or something like that. We'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that we out. Should. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be wonderful. So much fun. And we, and we could do what we call like a tweet fest or something like that, or a tweet party, and we can tell everybody they need to do use a certain hashtag, and then everybody watches it at the same time and comments. We could we could start like an online <laughs> revolution, for you guys. Yeah, you but can I, make I, a special I, appearance on with with that hair of yours. Do you are starting to look more and more like a Chris August brother. Okay, so for everybody who is friends with me on Facebook, number one, you should be. You can friend request me at the Garrett Miller. Um, after having Brian and Sean on what, like three years ago, I said I think I, I've I've met my doppelgangers, and so I need to like grow my hair out <laughs> and grow the facial hair and do all of it. My ultimate goal is to be the blonde Chrysogus brother, and you know, go on tour with you guys. <laughs> that would be wonderful. We'll, we'll plan that for next year. So, hey, I want to let you know we've got a couple of people listening in tonight. We've got a ton of people listening in, but a couple of people are already pinging me on Facebook. I've got Scott Fullerton out of Ohio. He is listening in, um, and he says hello. We've also got Tony out of Hackensack, and I think Tony knows you and is friends with you as well. So he says hello and uh, is uh, sending his well wishes today. So uh, nice to see you guys not only in the chat room but also pinging on Facebook. So let's get down (laughs) to business here because I I told you guys what's going to happen here is that that I'm going to forget that we're going to talk about other other people besides you and I'm going to forget that we've got five great songs that we're going to play and I'm going to forget all of these things and you and you Sean and Brian and I we're all going to just sit here and talk for an hour and then at the end of the show go holy cow we forgot to talk about what's happening on August 15th <laughs> so before That's we right. forget what what's coming up for you guys um, well it's called the legends and it's the legends of Christian music are all coming together what, what really happened Garrett was we got together with about seven churches that were planning a, a unity rally, and they had said to us to um, see if we could get um, something that would draw the people to uh, to want to come to a unity rally. And we thought, well, instead of doing it in a church, 
or even uh, as a picnic, let's do it as an event that we could take it to a theater and stuff. And we thought, let's bring in the pioneers in Christian music. So each church would be represented by a different artist. And there were there's eight Grammy Award winning, Dove Award winning artists gathering together. But they were all the pioneers of Christian music. And um, we, we've talked about Pharaoh and Pearl so many times on this show. You probably feel like you know them really well. But um, Bob and Jane Farrell were the pioneers of the techno um, music in Christian music. And they, they, he wrote songs for Sandy Patty, Amy Grant, Eric Clapton, Winona Judd. I mean, the list goes on and on. We could just keep naming them. Even um, Anne Murray, he wrote songs for her. So wow. this man has won so many awards that we're just honored that he writes our music, too. And he's such a man of God, but he's just, you, you sit there and you feel like you have so much wisdom and, and knowledge coming from it, this man. But he's just lived life, and he's just a normal, everyday guy with an extraordinary gift of music. And, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, Christian music or if it's uh, country music or secular in whatever genre, um, he could write it. You know, he's just amazing. And so who else is going to be appearing on on the show on the 15th? Uh, the other ones are Scott Wesley Brown, who's probably the most life-changing artist. I mean, his his songs are so empowering that I don't know if you've heard some of his songs, but he's amazing. He's the John Denver of Christian music. And um, the other one is David Meath. And David Meath, if you have not seen him in concert, uh, I honestly I'd say you've got to see him any time he's around your area. I think he's the best performer we've ever seen, best entertainer and minister at the same time. I've never seen performing and ministry so perfectly while niched. But um, he will make you laugh and cry and uh, just give your life over to the Lord. But he talks about his abusive childhood and his songs just speak out on every level of love and he gives you a message of forgiveness and love that I've never heard anything more powerful so it's Farrell and Farrell Scott Wesley Brown, David Meath um, the Archers, I don't know if you remember Steve, the Archers but they were like the Osmonds at one time Steve Archer is coming in He's a, he was like the number one heartthrob in Christian music way before Carmen was even considered even before Carmen ever came into the um, business so he's going to be there, and um, uh, Petra, um, John Schlitz, Chuck Gerard, who was um, the pioneer of the pioneers. He was the one, the very first Christian artist. And then Kelly Willard, who's just a sweetheart. She's got the most crystal clear voice, kind of like the way Debbie Boone once had her voice. Oh, wow. This one is really heavenly voice. Well, how about this? Because if I, if I don't start playing some music... Again, like I said, we're going to forget about playing music and only <laughs> chat the whole time. So I'm going to start out with Scott Wesley Brown's He Will Carry You, and we're going to play oh, that for okay. everybody, and then we're going to come right back with more with Brian and Sean Crisagas. Wonderful. Awesome.
Pretty song. That's Scott Wesley Brown and his song, He Will Carry You. We're live today with Sean and Brian Krasagas, the Krasagas Brothers, of course, stars of Christian music. They have a concert coming up on August 15th called the Legends Concert, featuring eight pioneers from Christian music at the Buckeye Local High School. Tickets are 10 bucks. You can call to get tickets at area code 740-859-2344. Um, at the bottom of the page for Rated G Radio today on Blog Talk, there's a link to the Crusagas Brothers Facebook page. You can visit their website and then buy their music also on iTunes. So during the break, uh, Brian and Sean and I were talking, but I got a ping from Tony. Uh, we were talking about you know, the people that are appearing on the concert on the 15th, and, and Tony says, well, now Brian is the heart thro- heartthrob of country music. And I asked Tony, what about Sean? And, and Tony replied back, so you guys are going to have to chime in here. Brian likes to be the more beautiful one. Remember in the reality show, Sean said, Brian, enough hairspray. So <laughs> what do you guys think about that? Well, I think I, I think that uh, we both have our different styles. Sean's more classical. He's more like Pierce Brosnan, and I just like to be goofy, so I like to um, – I do, I do use more hairspray, and I wear the crazier outfits, but I would – Influenced by the Bee Gees, so it's um, you know, the fluffy hair, the the big hair, and the you know, uh, the chest hair. <laughs> That's your trademark. <laughs> that is my trademark. So hey, we all have a trademark. Actually, reality television came looking for us because of that, uh, those looks, and because of the differences between the two of us. So you know, everywhere we go, people always say these two are very different. You know, or they're just you know. Um, uh, somebody introduced us the, the other day at the, the um, uh, Christian event we were doing. It was at a park, and they said, um, I, I want to know, they, when you first look at them, you don't know uh, what they're all about. But once you get to know them, you realize that their heart is, is right on. You know, So um, it was, people do look at – there was a song that Dolly Parton wrote, and it was, um, what was it, Backwoods Barbie. And it says, I'm just a backwards Barbie, too much makeup, too much hair. But don't believe the, the, something the goods are just not there. Uh, oh, something, I forget how this song goes, but it basically teaches that don't judge me by the first appearance because I'm actually, um, even a backwards Barbie deserves a second chance or I'm actually a good read or whatever. But it was a great song. You have to hear it. But, but that's for everybody. I think that all of us could judge somebody by our appearance. 
until we get to know the person. So, so um, I, I think that's what, uh, and I love that Tony said that. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Ashley, I think what you're saying about Tony, gosh, uh, I think he's a PR person that you should hook up with um, because Tony, um, he Tony's great. He, he's been an angel, to be quite honest. He's been doing tweets all the time for me, and I'm ever so grateful good. to him. So, um, and he says, you're welcome, Brian, and thank you, Brian. So, you know, we all we all are giving big praise to Tony today for being a stand-up guy. So, Tony, thanks for all your help. <laughs> so, Brian and, and Sean, it sounds like, you know, in putting this together, you're starting to become a little bit of a, a promotion machine. Would that be a fair statement to make? Well, you know, this may sound crazy. We worked with um, Jennifer O'Neill for 18 years, um, the actress from Summer 42, and she was a cover girl model, beautiful woman. But we worked for her for 18 years as her PR group and doing different things for her. And honestly, she was like hands-on. She taught us everything. And we say always our best teacher in life was first our mom and our grandmother, but second was Jennifer O'Neill because she really – taught us. We would have had to go to school for an education, which she taught, and we really learned how to promote stuff. And a lot of things with Christianity, they always think, oh, no, let God promote it. You don't need to promote. But no one shows up to those things. Now, if you really have a good PR person, um, people show up. And with this this thing, we've gone all the way. Because these people really, as you heard Scott Russell Lee Brown, uh, that man deserves a lot of people to come, and he's a legend, and his music has changed so many lives. Our our brother, Anthony, when he was young, he um, went to a Scott Wesley Brown concert, and he was going to be singing for the Civic Light Opera. They got a scholarship for him, and um, this sounds crazy because most people wouldn't have turned down the scholarship, but when he saw Scott Wesley Brown, he cried from the moment he got in there to the end of the concert, and then when he went home, he cried for a whole week. And he oh could not gosh. stop crying because Scott was such a – his songs just changed Anthony's life. And Anthony came to her mom and said, Mom, I'm going to serve the Lord, and I'm not going to, to, to go to the Civic Light Opera, but I'm going to go into ministry. And he's never looked back. He's been happy. But it, it was through Scott Wesley Brown, and those songs just are empowering. That is incredible. Well, I I want to play another song next, and you talked about um, Jane Farrell and what an instrumental person she was in your reality show. This is a song that is called Get Right or Get Left, and it's by Bob Bob Farrell and Jane Farrell. I just put Bob and Jane Farrell. Is it okay to do that, or is it Farrell yeah. and Farrell? Yeah, or Bob Farrell, 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 but everyone loves both of them, so we just love that saying Bob Farrell and Jane Farrell. And it, it, this song is so cool. They, they were the coolest people. They were like the Beatles when we were growing up. Cool. Well, let's play it. It's Get Right or Get Left, everybody. It's more of the Chrysagas Brothers right after this.
Legends concert at the. They're actually uh, going to be singing there. Wow, singing well, that, that song. Wow, right on. Yeah, they're going okay. to sing that song because you believe. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be a Raylan. How did you get all of these amazing people to show up for this event? Do they all, are they all like your next door neighbors and everybody was having a barbecue and it sounded like a good idea or what? <laughs> well, you know, actually, we've been working with Farrell and Farrell for a while. They become like parents to us. Um, and what happened was, um, once you get in, it's like it's who you know. And once you get into um, Christian music or any kind of thing, it's like um, one connection leads to another connection to another connection. And Bob and Jane have been so, they're just the greatest people. We can't say anything but praises about them. And God's really blessed us with it. their friendship at their songwriting and we've really um helped them they lost everything in the nashville flood and i think a lot of their friends that are in christian music um really respect us, respected us for standing with them and coming forward and helping them and then a lot of them have come to us uh, we were even shocked that um i don't know if you know who russ taff is but russ sure. taff's like the king of Christian music. I mean, you can't think of anyone more powerful. And when you think of legends, all you need are those two names, Russ, Taff. That's like the biggest legend. And he contacted us, his agent contacted us and said, I want Russ Taff on the legends um, bill. And we're like, are you kidding? But, you know, to us, that was the biggest thrill of our life because wow. Russ Taff inspired Brian. Carmen inspired me. And it was kind of like uh, growing up, those were the two guys we wanted to be when we were And guess up. what? I'm going to be singing with Russ Taff for Christmas. So I'm going to sing a duet with Russ Taff. Can you believe this? Get out of town. That is awesome. I know that that blows me away just in itself because and, it's like, and the reason he's coming in for Christmas is he couldn't then when we told him the dates he was on a cruise he was supposed to be on a cruise which uh, at this Legends concert what's amazing is he sent a video and we're going to oh. play it before the concert and he's saying that he's sorry he's missing this group because these are truly legends and actually these guys inspired if you listen to Amy Grant or any of them. The Bob and Jane Farrell inspired Amy Grant. You name it, Michael W. Smith was inspired by Chuck Gerard and Scott Wesley Brown. So these people were legends even before the legends that you're thinking of <laughs> or that wow. other people grew up with. So we've got um, Brian and Sean Crisagas who are putting together this Legends concert on the 18th of August at the Buckeye Local High School. If you want tickets, call 740-859-2344. Tickets are only... Ten dollars, which is a huge deal. If you would like to ask Brian and Sean a question tonight, we've got a half an hour left in the broadcast. The phone lines are open. You can call 323-657-1493. Press 1 on your keypad to let me know that you want to talk, and I will put you on air. My sister, Kyra, is listening from Delaware, and she is a huge fan of yours, and she says to say hi, but she won't call in because she's nervous. (laughs) <laughs> well, we already love her if she's her sister. Wow. Yeah. There, so there Give her we go. a big hug and kiss for twin hugs from us. I, I you have will, to send I us will. a picture sometime. We we don't know what she looks like. We would love to see her. She is absolutely gorgeous. So I I will tell you that she could be a model, a super. She could be like a super mom, one of those. But wow. hey, we've got a question wow. from the audience, and I don't know who this is because I haven't pre-screened the call. But I'm going to open up the phone line to area code six three one six three one. You're live with Brian and Sean. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Who's this? This is Christina from Long Island. Oh hi. Hey, how Christina. Are you? How are you? Brian Sean, hello, Christina. Yes, we're gonna see you yes. in New York. We'll be we'll be there in September. Yes, I'm doing better after my car accident. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you're We've welcome. been praying for you. It's so good to hear your voice. Thank you, Brian and Sean. I look forward to seeing you at Samantha's little bit of heaven. And I got a new car too, so Oh wonderful. Okay. Well we'll have what to car did you get? try it out when you we get out there. <laughs> yeah, and my Bobby Wydell, who's my pastor. 
That's wonderful. We love Bobby. He's fabulous. He's going to come and, and meet us finally. Yes, I go to his church. So thank you very much again. You guys are awesome. I love you both. Oh, we love you too. God bless and stay in touch and let us know how you're doing. I will. From your Greek friend over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for calling tonight. Thank you. What a treat. And you have, yeah, you have fans all over the country, though. So can we talk a little bit about some of your travel plans that you have coming up? Because you guys are yeah, always absolutely. on the road. You know, we, we keep wanting to get to California because we have, from our um, the charts that we see of where our music is mostly listened to, I don't know if you have one of those, um, Gareth is your music, but our music is mostly popular in California, uh, or popular in New York, which is funny, and we're popular in what was that one? It's like Oklahoma or someplace like that, and Texas. So I mean, we but we get out to Augusta, Georgia, constantly. But we're headed in this in the next few months. It's going to be New York, New York Nashville, um, South Carolina, North Carolina, Augusta, Georgia, um, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, there were also plans for Florida and and also plans for. Um, Texas, so th- th- we're going to be very busy. And a possible Louisiana, crazy. which is shocking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Louisiana too, which is shocking because we, I think we've only been to Louisiana once in our, we were on the Jim Baker show. Well, so th- tell me, you guys, do you, did you at one time have a video that was on MTV? Yes, it was called Jesus Everywhere I Go. And what was funny about this video was, um, and this is what we'll tell you. If you're doing, um, <laughs> trying to get your music out there, do something funny, put it out there, and get it. We just we have sense of humor, so we we grew up in the time when the Beatles and the um, what is it, the Brady's and the Partridge Family and the Monkeys were out. So we thought it was funny to just and like Donnie Marie and the to film something comical. So we did this video called Jesus Everywhere I Go. Brian played Jesus. I sang the song. And here we, everywhere I looked, Jesus appeared with me everywhere. So it, it turned out to be uh, really funny. And MTV contacted us and said they wanted to run it. And we were like, are you kidding? Because Christians are never <laughs> really welcome on MTV. And they said, um, no, we're not going to make fun of you. Your video does it for yourself. So <laughs> let us that play it. Fun. And they, they played it, and honestly, we had kids calling up and watching this video, and they kept calling up, getting our number, saying, you guys are effing crazy. We, you guys are effing dope. And we were like, oh, my gosh. But it, it, you know what? Honestly, it, it reached a new audience that we never reached before, and they totally – we still have those – kids growing up saying they love our music and they followed us into this other and they've all received the Lord through it so that's amazing so you never know who you're going to reach now Tony's also telling me that that's actually his favorite song of yours so oh, well, I'm I, glad I, it is <laughs> <laughs> when Tony was growing up watching that instead of the Brady's or something like that yeah. <laughs> now wait a minute Karen we're not that old <laughs> well I, I think he's probably like 25 or something like that so I'm just I, is I, that I, what Tony is okay yeah. We're using a lot of hair dye these days. These days, you guys, so underneath you all this, yeah, huh? uh-huh. you just touched underneath it all this is actually Kenny Rogers. That's it. Yeah, that that's hitting too close to home. <laughs> it's Kenny Rogers before his facelift. That's yeah, it. No, I'd hope. Oh, yeah, you guys don't do any plastic surgery. So let me ask you this. You have your Christmas CD. Is the Christmas CD out? Because I don't think we've done a Prasagas Brothers Christmas yet, because I would remember no, that. No, let's, let's do that. Let's do that, because yeah. we're going to finish. We did uh, uh, like pre-release. so many songs of pre-release. We had right. six songs done, and we're going to finish the album this year. So when we do that, let's do. let's get back on your show. I think we need to do that because that would be so much fun. I think you shared with me maybe two or three songs, or maybe it was a music video or just some you know iPhone footage yeah. or something like that during the filming of of uh, one of the songs. I think it was like Brian was shoved in a closet and you know the door was locked, <laughs> but it was like a glass door and that was like the studio or something. Yeah. I remember something like that. So yeah. it'd be fun to have you back yeah. on to do a full release. We'll do like a world premiere. Cool. Oh, wonderful. We'd love that. Great. Well, one thing we need to tell you before we go forward with this thing, we were nominated for ne- in November by the uh, Artist Music Guild, which you should get involved with, Garrett, but it's the Artist Music Guild, and it's uh, we, we are up for Mailed Up the List, Group of the Year, um, Duo of the Year, 
and CD of the year, album of the year. So we have four competitions that we're up for. Nice. Isn't that well, amazing? You know, I want to see firsthand all of the trophies. You can bring them with you to California. Let's do this <laughs> because we are, I don't want to say running short on time, but we've got to get everybody's music in. We're going to play Petra's Beyond Belief. Again, and this awesome. comes from, is it Chuck or John who is part of Petra? This is John Schlitz, and he's John. won 28 awards for his music, and they were the biggest Christian band there's ever been. Okay, well, let's do it. It's Petra Beyond Belief. We'll be right back with Brian and Sean Chrysogas. <laughs> Yeah. 
love that song. It's Petra's Beyond Belief, and we are live with Brian and Sean Chrysogas. They have the event called The Legends Concert this August 15th with eight pioneers from Christian Music at the Buckeye Local High School. Tickets are available for $10. You just call the box office at 740-859-2344. You're going to see Scott Wesley Brown, David Meese, Bob Farrell, and Jane Farrell, Stephen Mark Archer, uh, Chuck Gerard, John Schlitt, and then also Kelly Willard. And we're going to play two more songs before the show is over. Believe it or not, we're going to be able to – we've got three songs. We may go over a few minutes today. Well, if we go over a few minutes, we are. But, guys, how did you come to decide that you wanted to do a Legends concert? What got into your head? Well, you know what happened with um, was Andre Crouch. I don't know if you remember Andre Crouch, but he Bet. was a – uh, there was no one as famous as Andre. He also went from Christian music into the secular world, helped Michael Jackson, Madonna do their music videos and their music. In fact, The Man in the Mirror um, was done by Andre Crouch. And that song of Madonna's The Prayer, that was done by Andre Crouch as well. So he was in everything. But what happened was he died um, not too long ago. And we thought to ourselves, gosh, every year – there's a new legend that is um, is dying, another legend that's dying. And every time we turn around, there was another pioneer in Christian music that um, has gone, Richard Rich Mullins, um, Larry Norman, Keith Green, Dottie Rambo just recently died. And so we thought, you know what, we're going to do something that brings all the – great pioneers of Christian music and bring it out like it would be like putting the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, Jimi Hendrix, and the Carpenters and Barbara Streisand all together. And this is what we came up with. And it's the best of the best. I think this is just a spectacular idea, you know, because is this something that you would do as kind of like a road tour? Would you get everybody available and, and uh, take you know, them on the road? Funny, people have actually started asking if we would organize a road tour of this and and start doing this. So I don't know, but uh, everybody's asking us to come to California, to come to Oklahoma or Texas or someplace. So we just never know where it's going to lead, but but we are hoping to do another one next year. And we already got several of the other pioneers who, um, like Stephanie Busada, um, Randy Stonehill, Ebby, Ebby, who I don't know if you've ever seen Ebby, but she is adorable. You would go nuts over Ebby. Oh, my God, gosh. She was like the Olivia Newton-John of Christian music. <laughs> so you would love her. I, well, I can't like, wait. So I, I bring, her, bring everybody to, to – you know, well, I, don't, I say Huntington Beach, but that's because then I could walk to it. But bring them to Southern California, and we'll go hang out. I'm going to play another song here. We're going to get right back to the music. It's Fresh Surrender by The Archers, and we're going to be back with Brian and Sean Crisagos right after this.
On the Monday Night Dance Party, we have Brandon Shank for Sagas. They're, of course, uh, putting together the Legends concert on August 15th at the Buckeye Local High School. Tickets are available for $10. Just call 740-859-2344. Now, I'm going to do a shameless plug for Brian and Sean as well. If you're listening to the show on Blog Talk on the Rated G Radio page, as many of you are today, you can become a friend with the Crisagas Brothers on Facebook. Just click the link. You can visit their website. Click the link. Or you can go buy their music on iTunes. Click that link a lot. And go buy all of their music and help support independent Christian music in today's exciting world. So, guys, we've Thanks got about too. three Thanks. minutes left. Thank you for being here today. About three well, minutes left. What else do you want to talk about today? Well, as you just heard David Meads, you can tell why we are doing this. That song is one of the greatest songs ever written, and he's one of the top artists of all time. So that's the type of artist we're bringing to this legend thing. And the archer, Steve Archer, um, he was one of the first Grammy Award winners in Christian music, and, and you understand why after you hear these songs. They're powerful. 
And, and we, we also just want to uh, – go no, no, well, I was going to say, can I just say that I am so thrilled to have uh, the music that was sent over today. And, you know, some of these songs that I haven't heard before, but Linda Sullivan sent these over. So, Linda, thank you very much for being so on top of it today <laughs> to get these sweetheart. over. And um, But just a real treat to be able to hear these songs. For me, the first time, except for your song, which we're going to play next. But the, all of the, these songs were, were brand new to me, so I appreciate you opening up a brand new world of opportunities for my ears to hear this, this great music. Oh, that's cause... welcome. I'm glad that you were blessed. You know, we wish of... that you lived closer, because if you lived closer, you could actually come to the Legends concert and meet all these people. Uh, and because we didn't get to play two artists, I just want to give them one more plug. Kelly Willard will be there, and also Chuck Gerard. Chuck Gerard is amazing. If you don't uh, get a chance to hear him on here, since we didn't play him, um, you have to hear his music. You, they, it's life changing. It, it does a great thing for. Um, uh, it, it really brings the, the message of Jesus Christ and the journey of each one of us who are pilgrims uh, into focus. And then Kelly Willard. I just want to say one thing about her. She has lost so much in her life. Talk about a broken woman. Um, her daughter committed suicide a few years ago, and this woman lost her home, and she lost her husband, and all these different things happened to her. But you know what? She has hung on to Jesus Christ, and she's going to be there, and she's overcome so much, including depression and everything. I do not believe how many people have called in about Kelly and said, Guys, uh, this woman has given more than anyone, and her heart has been broken, but out of her brokenness, she's healed us. And the, a lot of the people that have tried suicide, they hear her story, and they've not killed themselves and everything else. So we, we're so honored to have Kelly Willard with us. Well, I am thrilled that you guys have been here with me today, and it's just an, always an honor. I love having you guys on. You know you have a, an open door any time that you guys want to come back. And so everybody's been Brian and Sean Crisagos, the Crisagos brothers. Go, You have to follow them on, on Facebook. These guys are just a riot. I love having them on. And I support independent <laughs> well, music. Well, you know we love you, Garrett. So. Well, Okay, so our Mutual Admiration Society is now in session. As I always say, I'll bang the gavel. We're going to end today's show with a song that is one of my favorites of the boys here. It's called Turn Your Eyes to Jesus, and it's available on their Conversations with God album. I believe that's – is that the right yeah. album? Yep. Okay, yep. So I got it right. There we go. So go out and buy Conversations with God by the Crisagas Brothers and their other music. We will see you live tomorrow with Peter Jude Ricciardi, and we're going to talk about narrating a book – you know, because that takes talent. You've got to make people want to listen to the end of the book because otherwise you're boring them to death. This is Turn Your Eyes to Jesus by Sean and Brian, and we'll see you live on Tuesday.
been listening to Rated G Radio.